Today, actress Erica Alexander, best known for her role on the 1990s show Living Single, shared her story here in Detroit. Larry Spruill talked to her about her personal experience. In the vibrant tapestry of American television, few stars shine as brightly yet as complexly as Erica Alexander. Known for her indomitable spirit on screen, Alexander's journey through the echelons of Hollywood is both inspiring and heartrending. Her portrayal of strong, intelligent women broke molds and set new standards, yet behind the curtain lay a narrative rife with challenges that would test her resolve. Alexander's early life was marked by humble beginnings, a testament to her resilience and determination to succeed against all odds. As we delve into the chapters of her life, we uncover the layers that make up her story. From her breakthrough roles that endeared her to millions, to the stark realities of an industry that often turned its back on her, despite her proven talent. This script pays homage to Erica Alexander, not just as an actress, but as a beacon of perseverance, creativity, and advocacy in the face of Hollywood's glaring disparities. Chapter 1 Early Life and Origins Erica Alexander's story begins in the small town of Winslow, Arizona, where she was born into a world far removed from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Her upbringing, steeped in the values of hard work and family unity, laid the groundwork for her relentless pursuit of excellence. Alexander's early exposure to the arts, coupled with her family's unwavering support, ignited a passion within her that would become the driving force of her career. Raised in a family where creativity and expression were encouraged, Erica's early foray into acting was more than just a pursuit of fame. It was a quest for authenticity. My grandmother was a witch. Uh, she Ooh. died from witchcraft. Her transition from a small-town girl to a budding actress in Philadelphia marked the first of many hurdles she would overcome. Despite the challenges, Alexander's resilience shone through, and her talent was undeniable. Her breakthrough came unexpectedly, discovered by a talent scout who saw in her the spark of potential greatness. This serendipitous encounter would catapult her into the limelight, setting the stage for a career that would defy the odds. Alexander's foray into acting was not just a pursuit of fame, but a quest for authentic expression. Her early exposure to the performing arts, coupled with her family's unwavering support, laid the foundation for her future success. This early period of her life was characterized by a relentless pursuit of her passion, despite the challenges and uncertainties that lay ahead. Her breakthrough came when she was discovered by a talent scout, a serendipitous event that catapulted her into the realm of professional acting. This opportunity was not just a stepping stone, but a validation of her talent and hard work. Alexander's early roles, including her portrayal of Cousin Pam on The Cosby Show, showcased her versatility and depth as an actress, setting the stage for a career that would break barriers and challenge stereotypes. Alexander's journey from Winslow to Hollywood is a narrative of perseverance, talent, and the transformative power of art. Her early life and career serve as a reminder of the potential within each individual to overcome obstacles and achieve greatness, regardless of their origins. As we journey through Alexander's formative years, we see the emergence of a star who was not just born, but forged through adversity. Her spirit unyielded, her ambition unquenched. This chapter not only sets the foundation for her illustrious career, but also serves as a testament to the enduring power of hope and determination. Chapter 2. Breakthrough and Success Erica Alexander's ascent to stardom was marked by her iconic role as Maxine Shaw in the groundbreaking sitcom Living Single. This role not only showcased her exceptional talent, but also resonated with audiences across America, earning her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Maxine Shaw, with her wit, intelligence, and strength, became a cultural icon, embodying the aspirations and struggles of a generation. Alexander's portrayal of Maxine Shaw broke new ground, offering a depiction of a successful, independent black woman that was rare on television during the 1990s. Despite the success, Alexander's journey was not without its hurdles. The industry's initial reluctance to cast her in living single 
underscored the systemic barriers that existed for actors of color. Before living single, Alexander's journey was marked by diverse roles that showcased her range and depth as an actress. Her early career was characterized by performances that broke away from stereotypical portrayals of black women, offering instead complex, nuanced characters that reflected real-life experiences. From her role in The Cosby Show as Pam Tucker, a sharp-witted and strong-minded teenager, to her portrayal of strong female characters in films like The Long Walk Home and 54, Alexander consistently pushed the boundaries of representation. Alexander's early roles were a testament to her versatility as an actress, laying the groundwork for her breakout role in Living Single. Her performances challenged industry norms and paved the way for more authentic representations of black women on screen. Living Single was a groundbreaking show that centered around the lives of four black women living in New York City, a narrative that was both refreshing and revolutionary at the time. Alexander's character, Maxine Shaw, was a formidable attorney whose intelligence, humor, and independence resonated with viewers. The show's success was not just a testament to its entertainment value, but also its cultural significance, offering a portrayal of black womanhood that was rarely seen in mainstream media. The impact of Living Single extended beyond its immediate audience, influencing a generation of writers, producers, and actors. It opened doors for shows centered around the lives of black women and men, challenging the industry to broaden its narrative scope. Alexander's role in this shift was pivotal. Her portrayal of Maxine Shaw offered a blueprint for strong, independent black female characters, setting a new standard for representation on television. Alexander not only found widespread recognition, but also contributed to a broader cultural conversation about representation and diversity in Hollywood. The show's success underscored the audience's hunger for stories that reflected their own experiences and identities. Despite the success of Living Single, Alexander's journey in Hollywood was not without its challenges. The end of the show marked the beginning of a new chapter for her, one that would test her resilience and adaptability. Yet, her career post-living single continued to be marked by significant roles that leveraged her talent and versatility. From her performances in critically acclaimed films like Get Out to her recurring roles in popular television series such as Black Lightning and Insecure, Alexander demonstrated her enduring appeal and talent. Alexander's contributions to the entertainment industry extend beyond her acting roles. Her work as a writer and producer reflects her commitment to storytelling that challenges, entertains, and inspires. Through her production company, Color Farm Media, she continues to advocate for diversity and inclusion in Hollywood, creating opportunities for underrepresented voices to be heard. Alexander's evolution from actress to writer and producer is a reflection of her multifaceted talent and her commitment to creating content that resonates with diverse audiences. Her work behind the scenes is as impactful as her on-screen performances, contributing to a more inclusive and representative entertainment industry. In expanding her career beyond acting, Alexander has not only showcased her versatility as an artist, but also her dedication to effecting change within the industry. Her journey from the early days of her career to her current role as a creator and advocate is a powerful testament to her resilience, creativity, and unwavering commitment to storytelling that reflects the richness and diversity of human experience. Erica Alexander's legacy in Hollywood is defined not just by the characters she's brought to life on screen, but by her enduring impact on the industry's narrative landscape. Her performance not only silenced critics, but also paved the way for more diverse representations on screen. Her success on Living Single was a testament to her talent and a challenge to the industry's status quo. Alexander's impact extended beyond her roles. She became a symbol of resilience and empowerment. Her success in Living Single and other projects did not come easy, but through perseverance and a relentless pursuit of excellence. This chapter of her life is a reminder of the transformative power of representation and the importance of fighting for one's place in an often exclusive industry.
Chapter 3. Hollywood's Rejection Erica Alexander's journey through Hollywood's labyrinth was marked by both luminous triumphs and shadowy challenges. Her portrayal of Maxine Shaw in Living Single was not just a career highlight but a cultural milestone, yet the path that followed was fraught with unexpected hurdles. Despite her undeniable talent and the success of Living Single, Alexander encountered a Hollywood reluctant to embrace her beyond the confines of the character that had made her a household name. Following her success on Living Single, Erica Alexander faced a reality that many actors of color confront in Hollywood, the paradox of visibility and invisibility. Despite proving her talent and drawing in millions of viewers, Alexander encountered an industry reluctant to embrace her beyond the confines of her breakthrough role. Alexander found herself at a crossroads, when the industry that once celebrated her now seemed to close doors, a stark reminder of Hollywood's fleeting embrace. Her resilience was further tested when she learned of the initial reluctance of living single executives to cast her. This revelation, shared years later, shed light on the systemic barriers that Alexander had been up against from the very beginning. Many sources have reported that learning that living single executives initially doubted her suitability for the role of Maxine Shaw was a jolting revelation for Alexander. It underscored the persistent underestimation she battled within the industry. Despite these challenges, Alexander's journey is a testament to her indomitable spirit. She leveraged her experiences of rejection and underestimation as catalysts for growth and creativity. Her transition from actor to creator was not just a career pivot, but a bold declaration of autonomy. In founding Color Farm Media, Alexander took control of her narrative, creating a space for stories that reflect the diversity and complexity of human experience. Her advocacy for black creatives and her efforts to dismantle the entrenched racism within Hollywood's infrastructure highlight her commitment to change. Alexander's advice to black creatives to find alternative paths in the face of rejection is a reflection of her own journey, a journey marked by resilience, innovation, and an unwavering belief in the transformative power of storytelling. In expanding her horizons beyond acting, Alexander has not only carved out new opportunities for herself, but has also paved the way for future generations. Her journey from the highs of living single to the challenges that followed is a powerful narrative of resilience, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of one's vision in the face of adversity. Erica Alexander's story is a beacon for anyone navigating the complexities of Hollywood, reminding us that rejection, while painful, can also be the doorway to new beginnings and uncharted territories of creative expression. The rejection from Hollywood was not just a professional setback, but a personal affront. Alexander, who had dedicated her life to her craft, was suddenly deemed surplus to requirements, her achievements seemingly forgotten. This period of her life was marked by introspection and resilience as she grappled with the industry's capricious nature. Yet, in the face of rejection, Alexander's spirit remained unbroken. She channeled her frustration into creativity, refusing to be defined by the roles she was denied. This not only highlights the challenges faced by Alexander and many actors of Kohler, but also underscores her indomitable will to redefine her path, turning rejection into a catalyst for growth and self-discovery. Chapter 4. Personal Struggles and Advocacy Beyond the camera lights and accolades, Erica Alexander faced battles that remained largely unseen by the public eye. Her advocacy for mental health awareness was not just a cause she stumbled upon. It was born out of personal struggles and the pain of watching loved ones suffer. Alexander's candid discussion about her family's struggles with mental health issues and her own battles brings to light the importance of addressing mental health openly. My mother was uh, abused very badly when she was growing up, and I think it created a well of sadness around her. She was able to pull herself out. Her fight against S and mental health stigma became a central part of her narrative, showcasing a side of Alexander that many of her fans were unaware of. 
Her willingness to share her story and use her platform to advocate for change speaks volumes about her character and her commitment to making a difference. Alexander's advocacy is rooted in her own family's history of mental health challenges. She spoke movingly about her mother's struggles, painting a vivid picture of the intergenerational impact of trauma and the resilience it takes to overcome such deep-seated pain. Her mother's battles with depression and S attempts left a profound mark on Alexander, shaping her into a fervent advocate for mental health awareness. The actress stressed the importance of destigmatizing mental health issues, especially in the African-American community, where cultural and historical factors often compound the reluctance to seek help. By sharing her story, Alexander aims to break down these barriers, encouraging open dialogue and support for those in need. Alexander's involvement in S prevention initiatives is not just about raising awareness. It's about creating tangible change. She calls for more resources and support systems for individuals struggling with mental health issues, advocating for a society where no one feels they have to face their darkest moments alone. A person may be going around their daily routine and they know how to do it. So as long as they're doing that, people don't know they may be suffering from a deeper um, problem. Her message resonates far beyond the forum in Detroit, reaching anyone who has felt the weight of mental health struggles. Erica Alexander's commitment to this cause is a beacon of hope, reminding us of the strength that can be found in vulnerability and the power of community in fostering healing and resilience. Through her advocacy, Alexander is not only saving lives, but also changing the narrative around mental health, proving that even in our most vulnerable moments, we can find strength and purpose. Her work in this field is a testament to her character, compassion, and unwavering dedication to making a difference in the lives of others. Alexander's work in mental health advocacy is a testament to her resilience and her deep empathy for others. By turning her personal pain into a powerful message of hope, she has helped destigmatize mental health issues and encouraged open discussions about a topic often shrouded in silence. Chapter 5. Creating Her Own Path In the wake of Hollywood's rejection, Erica Alexander took a bold step that would redefine her career. She transitioned from seeking roles to creating them. This chapter explores Alexander's evolution from an actress to a multifaceted creator, writer, and producer, highlighting her determination to carve out spaces for underrepresented voices in the industry. Empowered by her experiences, Alexander co-founded Kohler Farm Media, a platform aimed at amplifying diverse stories and voices, challenging the industry's narrow narratives. With the establishment of Color Farm Media, Alexander sought to bridge the gap in representation, creating a platform that championed stories from marginalized communities. Her work, characterized by a commitment to diversity and inclusion, aimed to disrupt the traditional narratives that have long dominated Hollywood. Through Color Farm Media, Alexander has been at the forefront of a movement to democratize storytelling, ensuring that voices previously sidelined by the mainstream are heard loud and clear. Alexander's foray into content creation was not just a career pivot, but a mission. Frustrated by the lack of opportunities and the stereotypical roles offered to actors of color, she sought to change the narrative from within. Her work behind the camera, including the critically acclaimed graphic novel Concrete Park, showcased her versatility and commitment to storytelling that resonates with and represents the true diversity of human experience. Alexander's transition to content creation is a reflection of her resilience and adaptability. Faced with an industry that often failed to recognize her worth, she took matters into her own hands, creating opportunities not just for herself, but for countless others who have been overlooked by the mainstream. Her journey is a powerful reminder of the importance of perseverance, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of one's vision in the face of adversity. Chapter 6. Living Single versus Friends the cultural impact of living single is undeniable, yet its legacy is intertwined with the narrative of another iconic sitcom, Friends. This chapter delves into the complex relationship between the two shows, exploring the discussions around originality, representation, 
and the industry's treatment of similar concepts with vastly different cultural backdrops. Yeah, it's sort of an urban everything you need to know from a woman's point of view. Despite Living Single's success and pioneering role in portraying the lives of young black professionals, it was Friends that garnered widespread acclaim and commercial success, sparking debates about the industry's racial biases. Living Single premiered a year before Friends, offering a groundbreaking portrayal of black friendship, career ambitions, and love in Brooklyn. However, when Friends debuted with a similar premise set in Manhattan, it received a level of promotion and support from NBC that Living Single never experienced from Fox. This disparity highlighted not just the competition between networks, but also the racial undercurrents that influenced which shows were deemed worthy of investment and mainstream appeal. The comparison between Living Single and Friends is emblematic of a larger issue within Hollywood, where black-led shows often struggle for the same recognition and resources as their white counterparts. Living Single was not just a sitcom. It was a groundbreaking portrayal of black excellence and camaraderie, challenging stereotypes and offering a fresh perspective on the black experience. Yet, when Friends debuted with a similar setup, it was met with a level of enthusiasm and support that Living Single had never experienced, raising questions about the role of race in the industry's valuation of television content. The discourse surrounding the two shows took a new turn when Jennifer Aniston, a star of Friends, commented on the perceived offensiveness of the show in today's context. This sparked reactions from Living Single fans who pointed out the originality of their beloved show and the lack of acknowledgement it received in comparison to Friends. The debate underscores the ongoing struggle for equitable representation and appreciation of black-led content in mainstream media. Many sources have suggested that the fans of Living Single express frustration over the lack of recognition for the show's pioneering role and its overshadowing by Friends a dynamic that reflects broader issues of racial inequality in the entertainment industry. Chapter 7. Legacy and Influence Erica Alexander's journey through the peaks and valleys of Hollywood has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. This final chapter celebrates her enduring legacy, not just as a talented actress but as a trailblazer who reshaped the narrative around diversity and representation in media. Alexander's influence extends beyond her on-screen roles, her advocacy for mental health, her entrepreneurial ventures, and her commitment to uplifting underrepresented voices have cemented her status as a cultural icon. From her unforgettable portrayal of Maxine Shaw to her groundbreaking work behind the scenes, Alexander has consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible for black women in Hollywood. Her resilience in the face of adversity her creativity in overcoming industry barriers, and her unwavering commitment to authenticity have inspired countless individuals both within and outside the entertainment world. Alexander's legacy is also characterized by her mentorship and support for the next generation of artists and creators. Through her production company and various initiatives, she has provided a platform for stories that might otherwise go untold championing a more inclusive and representative media landscape. As we reflect on Erica Alexander's contributions to the entertainment industry and beyond, it's clear that her impact is far-reaching. Her journey from a young actress facing rejection to a respected creator and advocate is a testament to her talent, vision, and determination. Erica Alexander's story is not just one of personal triumph, but a reminder of the power of perseverance, creativity, and the importance of lifting up the voices of those who have been historically marginalized. In exploring the chapters of Erica Alexander's life, we've traversed a narrative rich with triumphs and trials, each phase of her journey shedding light on the complexities of navigating Hollywood as a black woman. Her story, marked by groundbreaking achievements and relentless advocacy, serves as a beacon for aspiring artists everywhere. Erica Alexander's legacy is a mosaic of her roles, both on-screen and off, 
each piece reflecting her multifaceted contributions to the entertainment industry and society at large. As we close this script, we celebrate not just the roles she's played, but the indomitable spirit she embodies, a spirit that continues to inspire and challenge the status quo, ensuring her place in the annals of entertainment history as a true icon of resilience and change. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.